Hey guys, it's me, Piper, and this is my interview with Brad Bird. He wrote and directed Incredibles and Incredibles 2. He's also the voice for Edna Mode. And he did the screenplay for both Ratatouille and Tomorrowland. This interview is for and about Tomorrowland, and I actually got to go to the park to do this interview. And he talks about Walt's idea for the future and stuff like that. So check it out. Hey guys, it's me, Piper, and I'm here in Disneyland with Edna Mold. But you probably know him as Brad Bird. Brad directed a ton of stuff, like Ratatouille and The Incredibles, but today we're talking about Tomorrowland. Happy early birthday, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so what was it like to film the scenes in Disneyland? Like, did you ride the rides in between takes and stuff? I wish. We had yeah. work to do, though. We didn't get to ride the rides until we were done for the day. But as soon as the <laughs> sun went down, we rode some rides. That's awesome. Yeah. So I know Tomorrowland was mega important to Walt. How did you keep his vision alive? Well, I think that uh, what we were focused on was Walt's vision of the future, which was not only manifested in Tomorrowland, but also in um, some of the TV shows he did. And, and uh, it was a optimistic view of the future and the idea that the future um, was going to be a challenge, but an exciting challenge. And it wasn't uh, that the future was going to be bad and there was nothing we could do about it. His view was that we we can do something about it and we can make it great. Do you have the same view for the future? I do, and that was one of the things that uh, animated my desire to work on the project. Can you tell me a little bit about the hidden stuff in the movie? Hidden? Like the hidden Mickeys and that kind of stuff? Oh, I don't have too many hidden Mickeys in the movie, but um, uh, I think that they'll reveal themselves in time. Sorry. <laughs> well, I don't like to tell people because then it makes it too easy. It's like having <laughs> right. an Easter egg hunt and going, there's one there and there's one there. <laughs> right, yeah. So what was the hardest scene to direct? Um, I think that probably the scene where uh, Casey gets the pin and has a uninterrupted three minute sort of experience moving through right, Tomorrowland. Yeah. And uh, what was difficult about it is that we, it, it looks like it's one shot but it was actually done over a period of about four months or, and in oh about God. four different countries. That's so, insane. Uh, to make it look like it was a continuous experience and that it was all happening was a real challenge, but I, I, I was really happy with the way it turned out. Yeah, it looked awesome. I'm really excited about Incredibles too. Is oh, there going to cool. be another Jack-Jack attack and can you give me more info on the movie? Uh, it's, it's like the Easter egg hunt. I don't like to tell <laughs> people where the eggs are, but I think you'll have fun. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Darling, watch Piper's Picks. That's the only show to watch. Thank you so much. Yes, nice to meet you. Subscribe. It's like totally fetch. Thank you.